Hello everybody, it's Jason and welcome back to another real spoiling video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this heli base design. This base design is intended for trios and small groups that want to take down the attack helicopter in Rust. Now this base design costs 10k stones, 5,900 metal frags and 3,100 wood. The upkeep of this base is 1,600 stone and 1,400 metal frags. I focused on keeping the cost of the base low, but the actual quality of the design as well as the strength against splash damage and other things high. You are going to need 9 vertical metal embrasures or horizontal depending on your preference. Um, a number of beds depending on how many it is in your group. 3 garage doors, a wooden ladder and salvage shelves. These are the blueprint items. The non-blueprint items you'll need are 6 large boxes, 1 metal shop front, 4 sheet metal doors, 1 double sheet door and 1 TC. I want to point out that location of your base is extremely important as if you're making it for a helicopter to attack the helicopter it needs to be in range. So you need to be in the helicopter's patrol path therefore near major monuments. If you're not in the helicopter's patrol path somewhere like up here in O2, P2, Q2 you'll never be able to grab the, uh, the heli's attention and you won't even be able to fight it. So making it just basically useless. So coming down to the front here you're greeted by a double airlock like this. This is anti uh, door camping. Um, pretty cool. Nice and strong. Coming through into the core, we have two uh, two bags and two large boxes underneath this staircase behind this garage door. Up here, there's another two bags, depending obviously depending on how many people you have. And there's four large boxes and your TC in this square protected by a garage door and a garage door there. Jumping up here we have a ladder that leads to our two sheet metal double doors. Quick and easy access into here. Uh, the reason there's two metal doors is mainly because it's just quicker access if a napalm is coming your way you can just drop down the chute to avoid the napalm or if there's fire for example you can do the same. As you can see you've got a 360 degree de defensive view so you can see the helicopter with vertical embrasures really easily, I like that. But obviously it's up to you how you do this part. But I like the, um, the also very cheap, the embrasures. You can also use this as a defense base if you want to as well. So it is a good defense base as it does have, again, a 363 defense view and some good angles downwards. Now if we look at the outside of this base, I have made a couple of features um, to improve the quality. So over here we have um, low walls on the roof. This means splash damage from rockets, as you'll see here. Right in the middle there. It's completely done. Only one, one of the roofs will actually get damaged from a napalm from a rocket or a, the heli. Um, so if without it, as you can see here, if I shoot in the middle, the heli will probably shoot down onto the roof. You're looking at significant damage from all of them. But if these are on, only damage from one of them. I mean, it's just a stronger, just a stronger base. That'll last longer. The base is also really simple and not complex, which is another major issue I found with um, some of the base designs I've seen on YouTube. The price was too high and they were very complex. You want a simple base design that you can easily repair and upkeep. Now, another key feature that I did use was the wall frames here. And the wall frames, again, I mean the rockets will go to the It also means stability is increased and uh, cost is kept low. That is it for the base tour. Now, let's get into the build.